Jesus is patient. Picture him passing and waiting until the man slows down because he's blind and he makes his way forward to ask for some healing. Jesus is not only patient, but he's kind. Imagine him taking the hand of the man who can neither hear nor speak and leading him away from the crowd to heal him in a much more intimate setting. And Jesus never fails. See him, wearied from ministering all day, still tending to the multitudes who keep asking him for help and more help. Now, realize one more thing. Jesus Christ lives in you through your baptism. You have been given a share of his risen life and of his unconditional love. This means that you can draw on his stores of patience and kindness whenever you need it. Pope Francis said last week that every command in Scripture is accompanied by a promise. Yes, God calls us to be loving, and this passage spells out what love looks like. It's a high standard, I know, but we are also gifted in Christ with the power to love as He loves, to be patient as He is patient, and to share His kindness with everyone around us. It's one of the most encouraging paradoxes of the Christian life. The more inadequate you feel, the more effective you can be. It doesn't take much to plunge your hands and your heart into Jesus' storehouse of love and to find everything you need.